The number of coronavirus cases here in Hawaii continues to rise, now standing at 517, with 333 listed as recovered or cleared from isolation. So now that we're continuing to flatten that curve, how and when will officials reopen the economy? Joining us now with the latest is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning to you again, Lieutenant Governor. I know you're on the go, so thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I got my times mis mixed up, so I'm outside of Starbucks waiting for my coffee, but I'm here for you. Thank you so much. Now, first question, 517, it seems like we're starting to flatten the curve. Are you optimistic? Uh, I am optimistic based on the curve. I'm really, really proud of people. I'm really super proud that people have stuck with this, just, uh, stuck with this uh, very difficult sacrifice. The self-sacrifice has been pro profound, and it's going to continue, of course. But we flatten the curve, and if we have another good 16 or 15 days, we will then have essentially eradicated the, the regional spread here in Hawaii and decreased our risk. Then we'll have to turn our attention to how do you actually start an economy and let people start coming back safely. Now you say a good 16 or 15 days. First of all, define good. Does that just mean single digits and in the teens in terms of cases? Exactly. So by doing what we've done and seeing so few cases, there's a very low likelihood of significant clusters breaking out. And we also have a lot of testing capacity to go and deal with them fast. So all of that has been a success and it's because of people's hard work, period. There'd be no way on earth without the, the governor's order and then people actually taking to heart the self, self sacrifices of work. So when you just see 6, 10, 13 cases, a lot of that is just background being picked up from five and six days ago. So, guys, keep doing it. Don't get overconfident at all because if we're overconfident, we'll see spread. And if we see spread, we'll have to extend the, the home quarantine, which is very hard on us. And at what point? Will you be willing to make a decision or recommendation on that? Well, uh, my, my general uh, principle is 10 days out from any significant change, we have to all kind of bring all our minds together and give people time to prepare for whatever would change. No matter what, there's still going to have to be social distancing. No matter what, people, if they're in you know, close communication, they're going to have to have masks on. But these, these questions about when some businesses can open, we want to be 10 days out when we start to make the determination. And obviously, then there are bigger questions like, when do the schools open? When do we allow some travelers coming? What are the circumstances that they can? Is there a good chance that we could lift at least some of the restrictions on May 1st if the numbers continue the way they have been going? There's a real chance that some of the restrictions could be lifted. There's, there's absolutely a real chance. And in fact, it's better better than even odds that that the home quarantine and total isolation can get lifted because people have done so well but we will only be able to have a, hey brother good to see you we'll only have a chance if we uh if we really adhere to this i'm i'm seeing some construction guys go by now they're wearing their masks they're being very smart about it that's the way we win that's the way we we get out of our homes and i know people are stir crazy but we have to have a super flat curve and we have to have testing capacity to get out of the out of the house. Another issue has been, I guess, the airport arrivals. People are still coming to Hawaii. You've talked about antibody tests, we've talked about tracking visitors. What's the most realistic solution to this and how quickly could it be implemented? Well, the most realistic solution is it's going to take several weeks to get a, a good antibody test, not just for us, but that we've seen it work in a few other locations around the world. We can't take a chance with that. I, I'm starting to, uh, I've put together a five point plan that I'm sharing uh, in early stages with the governor and, and general and their team. I have a strong feeling we're gonna have to get a certification from anybody that wants to travel to Hawaii, probably just 48 to 72 hours out that they are negative. That will give us a very high probability of, of very, very few people coming here that, that have COVID. We also would ask that they get their temperature taken on their departure site and on arrival. And then there's going to have to be some capacity to trace. But that is doable. As soon as we get antibody tests, though, then we can open up in mass. So this is not uncommon for people to go through a process like when they get a visa, when they travel. It's just now essentially a health visa. Hey, man. Take care, guys. 
but sorry about that. But it's a health visa in, in these terms, and I think that that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be meaningful for us to keep our people all safe. All right, Lieutenant Governor, we do appreciate your time and sticking with us. And do you still have time to join us in about 10 minutes to answer some viewer questions about COVID-19? Yeah, totally. I just was off by an hour. So uh, I'm here. Just, just I'll be walking, but right. uh, walking and answering questions. And saying hi, of course, to the residents of Hawaii. We thank you again, Elgin. We'll see you in about 10 minutes. And we need to take a break, but we'll be back with more this Wednesday morning. Stay with us.